guys welcome welcome to another vlog um i'm trying to create content right now but the powers that be can you hear that hammering can you hear the baby crying will not allow me so let me show you where i have been set up so i have my phone there and right at like, this house in front of my window is where they've been doing some work and i've been trying for like the past hour to get a and I've been trying for the past like hour to get in one sentence. But anyways, I think I hope I have it. I need to go now because um, this content I'm creating for this brand, I meant to send it today. I mentioned in my last vlog that I was meant to partner with a brand, the agency. I won't say any bad things about them, but yeah, no, it's no way to work. This is so last minute. The event is tomorrow, and I need to send this to them today. And it involves me because I had to change my entire content direction and storyline. And now I have to go out. I think I'll probably explain to you guys later. But anyway, so right now, today is hair day, nail day. I was going to make my hair today anyway, but I'm now trying to incorporate it into the content. And I'm running so late. It's already almost 1 p.m. I'm meant to do my nails, do my hair, come back, and then shoot the concluding part of this um, video. I don't know how it's going to go, but... Wish me luck. Um, welcome to More Living Life. This is, I guess, a day in my life. Um, yeah, but the vlog will probably be a few days because there's an event tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Saturday. And then, oh yeah, today is Friday, did I mention? So tomorrow is Saturday, the event. And then just take it to, through this weekend. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, let's go. Also, for this content I'm creating, my, my living room is a current visual representation of where my head is at so things are all over the place see my mirror is not here because i realized i'm going to need to shoot something so i put the mirror there ahead for the uh, be ahead of the rest of the shoot this my tripod is here i'll, I'll show you guys yeah. see this is from this morning there's just shit all over the place but right now i need to get that all so Yes, guys, come with me. Um, let's go get my hair done. Uh, my nails. I hope I can do my nails because this nails is looking tricky. Um, yeah, so let's go and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoy this one. And bye. day after it is 2 30 um the day after see any mess you see in the back ignore it too <laughs> the past 24 hours have been really bad like i feel like murphy's law that's it anything bad that can happen will happen not to lose that words but again my point has been chasing me since yesterday I'll tell you guys about it shortly. So it's 2.30 and I am not done with the video I'm meant to post for the brand. This video should, so this video should have been posted um, like maybe 9.10 this morning. That was my plan when I stared out yesterday. Um, but yeah, like I said, nothing has gone as planned. Um, I've been having a really shitty past 24 hours, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to. I'm. I'm. I'm not going to. Um. I'm not going to like. Uh. Wallow in it. I'm not going to let it affect me. I'm just going to like try to get done post and I've not slept properly. I've been up since. I didn't sleep till until about maybe. Um. I don't know, like two thirty three. Yeah, like past three. I got up like past six because I thought I'll be able to finish filming i couldn't start filming till about 11 30. but let's rewind i know i've I not showed you guys the hair properly or even at all sorry about that i just finished uh finished shooting the other bits of the 
video that I couldn't do yesterday. Um, so yeah, let me, should I start by a rant? Let me think about it. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, my nails, you guys. I went back to tips. So yeah, I went back to friend tips. But I used a nude. Uh, nude? The last time was a pinker nude. So let me, uh, let me put you guys somewhere. Let me talk to you guys real quick, real quick. I meant to finish editing this thing and post it ASAP. But yeah. Okay. So I'm going to rant a little bit. So this campaign, I'm sure um, if you follow me, see, no, let me start from this. What is this huge zit on my chin that I woke up to? It's so big. Well, it's been here since yesterday, but it's gotten worse. To be fair, I was messing with it because I thought I could make it go away. Anyways, that's by the way. Exposure is doing all sorts. Okay, so when I go to the event today, you guys know the brand I'm working with. But this is never about the brand. I have no issues with the brand. Um, because it's a brand, it's a kind of brand, or it's a brand in a category that I love and um so it's the singleton and um yeah it's wines and spirits category why not so when um the agency the agency don't know what to complain about so the agency had reached out to me a whole month ago actually no about five weeks ago if or six weeks ago and then i said yes i was interested in working with them on the campaign blah blah, blah. And can you tell me why I sent my cost since the 20th of March of May and it's only on the 20th of June I get a contract to sign. And the event is on the 22nd of June, which is today. That makes like, and what is pissing me off the most, because I don't even care anything. Like the brand has no business because they contracted the agency to handle it, so they should do their job. And I'm more upset because I have worked in agencies for over five years. And I have been working in digital. I have been handling influencer management. I know what the right thing is. So there's nothing they can tell me. They've just been doing a really shitty job. Like, um, and to be honest, I don't know, this may not be a good look. Because if someone in agency sees this, they might have a problem with working with me in the future for a different brand. But hey, it's just what it is. I'm not even sure. You know what? Anyways, because left to me as at Tuesday when I had not heard anything. And also I had been following up. So the communication was really poor. It was my own issue. Very poor, very poor communication. As at Tuesday, I really honestly thought that I wasn't working on the campaign anymore. Yeah, I just I assumed I wasn't going to work on the campaign because there's no way... Um, even though they had sent me like a brief and I'm like, okay, can I get a contract? Like I had to be asking, can I get a contract? When will I get paid? Like things that I meant to tell the, um, people you're working with. And then, cause you know, it's a case of, I've worked with, um, brands like in the past like year or so that I've been doing content here and there on the side cause I haven't been doing it full time. I've worked with some brands where, um, the person just the person um, that was in charge of handling the relationship, like influencer relationship, had told me that oh they are trying to sort out blah blah blah, but I can start working on it. They will pay me for sure blah blah. Honestly, I don't. I'm not going. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid that you 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 use my work and, and you will not pay me because your brand is there. You have a name. I'll call you out. So like I'm not afraid. But this was you did not say anything to me Monday. Bear in mind that over over the weekend. Um, before Salah, they had, they had sent me the um, brief. I said, it's fine. I was still asking questions that were not clear from the brief because I'm like, are you sending a product? Are you sending a fiscal invite so I will know what I'm creating because I'm trying to like make sense of my content beforehand because I, I won't just do something random and I won't do something that doesn't fit into my regular content. And then I had to be asking, okay, are you sending the product? Are you sending an invite, like a fiscal invite? So I will know like my story and have it like unlock and everything before I have to shoot. Because in the brief they had said, said, okay, five days, which is perfectly fine. So I assumed that by weekend, everything would be sorted. So I have between Monday and Friday 
to produce content, send to them. If they have feedback, give me feedback. Let me um, work on it and then post it because the event is on Saturday. But I didn't get my contract until Wednesday, Wednesday evening, like 4.30 something. And it was a 30 page contract. <laughs> So I didn't get back to them until, but I still, I made sure I didn't go to bed without going through the contra contract. I was up until like 3 a.m. because I had other things to do. So when I was done with my own work, I got to the around like midnight and I read through everything. And around 3 a.m. I replied them so that like, he would wake up to my response. And I had some issues with the contract. Very min minute issues at that too. Um, but then I wasn't going to put my signature on something if I was not sure about it. So um, I sent them that email and I still don't hear from anybody. Like I would assume you start work at 8 or 9 and then you get on it, but no. And then um, I, hear, I, I don't hear from them up until uh, maybe noon. I'm, I'm not sure, but it took, it took a few hours. Afternoon, sure. Maybe like 12 and 1, I really can't remember. And then when they do respond, they now, um, they call me. Because I want to also state in my, because you've had my number for over a month. Like, if emails are long for you, maybe place a phone call, let's talk and get this over and done, because I don't have your number. All I have is the email you need to contact me. So in the email I sent, like, at midnight, just to make sure things go fast, because time is of the essence, I was hoping I would film on that Thursday. So I have Friday to edit and send to them. Um, in that email, I send, I add my number and say, I, I, I add my number again and say, let's do a quick call. I mean, let's do a phone call so we can get this over and done with, like pretty much. And it's until like afternoon the next day that someone now, oh no, they not. So they send the contract back and they've taken out something. But then in the email, it wasn't clear what's like it didn't seem like they had addressed all my issues so i even bother going through the whole contract contract i said that's so i sent an email back saying that's not all my issues i also said xyz so the person now calls say oh they also adjusted that one but you didn't let me know like should i go through another should i start going through the whole contract again and i think i'm just annoyed because i have worked in agencies and yeah they 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 should do better like i don't have any personal problems with them the person, I've been talking to her, she's, she seems pretty cool. I've been lolling here and there because I don't have any personal problems, but it has affected my work so bad and I'm really so upset. Then yesterday, um, so now with the whole last minuteness of things, I didn't sign the contract until Thursday, like 3 p.m. Um, and that was when I just started to rethink my idea because the former idea I had could not work anymore because and also i wasn't going to start working without any commitments even like verbally or they made no actually no not verbal maybe written commitment like in an email saying i should go ahead they made no commitment nothing they didn't tell me when they'll pay me nothing so i'm like yeah i won't start working till i know because like this is not my first rodeo please so and like i said i'm not afraid that the brand not pay but then this is more of like the agency i've not worked with them for so i i also don't know them so if it was an agency that i've worked with before I know that they cannot owe me money I, and I won't be saying stories. Anyway, so, um, sorry guys, this is long, I just had to. Um, so, fast forward to yesterday now, or oh, sorry, to two days ago, evening already, the day was gone. It was like um, around 3 p.m. that I started to put together a new direction because I had to send it to them also to approve or just to know what, what I was doing so I don't hear stories when I um, create my video. And I had to create a whole day in the life concept that I, uh, I had to go out to get ready for this event today. So that's what I filmed yesterday. Now, to start my day off, I woke up. I had a banging headache. I, I couldn't go out early, but that wasn't an issue for me because the only appointment I could get for my hair was for 3.30. Um, and then my nails, I went to my nails, I did my hair, um, filmed, filmed, filmed. And, but the major part of the video that I was going to do was... Um, at home, the talking part, yes, so before I stepped out, so yeah, I think I told you guys, yeah, the talking part was so difficult because they were doing some work. Coming back to, I went to like a um, outfit type of like, choose one for me type thing, like get ready with me, choose one for me. 
And, but then I didn't get back home until 11.30 p.m., guys. I finished my hair at 7.30. Lagos is a mad place. You know, I, as in, tears were, tears were cried because I was so frustrated. Um, I, I couldn't leave the salon because I couldn't get a ride first for like almost two hours. Or well, an, an hour and a half. Um, there were no rides. I finally got a ride for 10,000 naira. Yes, it was 9,900. This in drive. And so it was raining. Did I mention? I don't even know. It was raining cats, dogs, and other animals involved in the, in the animal kingdom. They were all raining down. And it was also, my area gets flooded. So I was already, I was already so weary. Because it's like, it's one thing for me to be stuck inside, and it's another thing. So it's one thing for me to be stuck in my house and not be able to go out because cars don't come and pick me up. It's another thing to be stuck in the middle of the water and you cannot move. And that happened to me yesterday. Anyways, well, not, um, not fully, but yeah. So finally I get a ride and I don't know if, if it's a good or a bad thing, but the guy did not know this area. And when he called me, I didn't know this. Because he asked me where I live, I told him. He asked me, is it up to one side? I said, no, my house is not that deep in. So I assumed he knew where he was going to. He comes, picks me up. Now, between Lekki phase one, I say, like, in Ikati side, just after Lekki. Between Lekki phase one and here, I left Lekki phase one at 8.50. I didn't get home till, till 11.30, so do the math. Um, and... The water was so bad, but also apparently the guy's car was bad and the under was open or something funny because I've never been in any car that water entered the car. It was that bad. Water, the moment we entered like the road that leads to my house, water entered. The guy started to rant and he was so upset. He parked, he said he cannot go. And I'm like, oh God, I what should I do? I say sorry. I don't know what to do. Anyways, we we're there for a bit. Should I go home at 11.30? There was no light. Now, um, recently we've been having issues with lights, so they changed like the timing with our generator. As opposed to it going off, sorry, as opposed to it being until 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., they started turning off at 12 a.m. because we've been spending a lot more for diesel. This past month now, it's been 190k on diesel ridiculous so we had to like rush on the lights better and then but there's been power for a few days so i've not had any issues but yesterday i think once it rains the light just goes and there was no light so go home at 11 30. i oh also i had not eaten the entire day i only had like a snack when i was out so i got home and quickly put my food in the microwave i went to shower i ate my food Actually, when, before I was done in the shower, Jen had gone off at 12. And I ate my food without light, and I just, I, tr I couldn't even sleep. I was, I was also trying to, like, figure out the video and how I was going to, like, put it together. So I was trying to think all my steps and write them down so it's easy for me to do. With the hopes that once I wake up, there's either light or it's bright out enough for me to use, like, uh, na natural lighting to shoot. Anyways, I wake up, no lights, it wasn't bright, it was looking gloomy. I woke up very early. And normally the gen is meant to come out at 5 o'clock. Now today, the gen battery was bad. They didn't put on the generator. So, no lights. Nepal too, no lights. Um, I should say, okay. I stand up from bed, I start bringing out the outfits I was going to um, wear. I was meant to shoot three outfits, but... At the point I said, go for a bit, so only, I shot only two. So I had to bring out the different outfits, bring them out, blah, blah, blah. I realized one of the, the main one I'm even wearing out today and the main one for the video was so rough. And no light, obviously, so uh, it's just been a very long one. I think light eventually came on at, they still not fixed the general. So if light did not come, Anyways, thank God that light came at 12 o'clock. I ironed it quickly. I shot now and I'm going to finish editing like maybe in 30 minutes and send to them. I sent them the first draft when I before I did the um, outfit thing, just so they see the story, the voiceover, 
which is the main part, like the information. And they give me feedback, so I'm going to put that in. Very minute feedback, just two changes. And it's just to the voiceover, not the video, thankfully. Um, so yeah, thank God, thank you, God. Um, check my Instagram, Musun O, to what the video. Um, I hope it turns out nice, to be honest, because it's not what I wanted to do, so I'm, I'm really wary about how it would do. But yeah, that's, that's what my past 24 hours have been like. I thought I would finish this thing early, so I would take a nap before the events, but that's not happening. The event is meant to be for 5, but that's like 7 o'clock, and I want to do some makeup, so I have not eaten today yet, so I'm just going to, once I'm done now, and I post, I will eat, I will shower, and I'll start getting ready. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry for the long spiel. And I'll shave my hair later too, probably. Alright guys, bye. Guys, this is the current state of my house and life. Because of this damn video. Anyways, it is... See the time yeah it's almost 6 p.m i'm just about to get ready for the event and yeah just want to show you guys what i went through today just to create content anyways going to shower now and i will talk to you guys when i'm dressed and hopefully meet up Guys, so this is the look. I'm sweating. I decided to go with sneakers and no heels. Um, my ride is here. My first one cancelled. Got another one. My friends that I invited are there already. But anyways, oh gosh. So stressed. Okay, talk to you guys with me. And talk to you later. Bye. I also need to carry this mirror back to where she belongs and it's flipping heavy anyways let's clean cheers Singleton yesterday. I have not yet opened it. I want to do an unboxing, but yeah, I'll show you guys at some point in this vlog. Might be today, might be tomorrow. I honestly don't know. But yeah, it's so huge. 
I can I think I already know something that's inside it but yeah can't wait alrighty let's go back to cleaning bad welcome to the room yeah yes there was a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot but you know what we're gonna clean this in like what 20 minutes because i need to shower and get my life together so yeah let's do it we need music in the room too I don't want to open my door because of mosquitoes, so I can't use the TV, so speaker to the rescue.
connection is electrifying. Let's please spin the bottle. That's a dare? Let's please spin the bottle. That's gonna fuck you up, actually. Now he went and got a bottle. No, 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 no. Why are you so scared? night time already and i actually thought i was going to end this vlog um sorry i'll wrap up for the night and end this vlog tomorrow but i just thought to actually um turn on the lights and unbox my um box unbox my package from singleton and i love it so 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 much um so yeah i did a video an unboxing video show you guys a bit i was doing that for like instagram reels um and probably tiktok but yeah i thought to just come on here and show you guys and then also wrap up the vlog um so yeah let me show you so as i yesterday when i picked up the box when i was in the box i had no idea what was inside um i assumed that it would probably be a bottle but then i kind of then knew for sure when i saw um someone's reel where they actually filmed the um customization center place there was like this place where you could get um complimentary personalization sorry personalized bottles and stuff and apparently i saw my name on someone's video and i'm like oh wow so i was expecting it and then yeah but it's so cool still i'm like does this mean i'm never drinking this or when i drink it i don't do anything to the bottle so i keep the bottle in my bar oh yeah i'm making a bar hopefully soon in my space but that's by the way i can't wait to have that bar by the way so yeah see here we have my name it says musu at the bottom so flipping cute i love it so this is my very own personalized bottle of this single tin and i'm so excited uh and then um also from what i gather and uh from my little rant yesterday i was right to have expected them to send a like a bottle as an invite or something but i guess they just didn't go as planned was why because the box had this thing so i think they're going to send this to us before the event but that didn't happen so it says this is your invitation so this is an invitation to save us a single moment and i assume they're meant to send this to um, like the influencers and stuff but it didn't happen which is fine oh also guys i'm not sure have i spoken to you guys since no my bad about the event it was such an awesome event like it was so good i got there late because i was um, i had a bunch of things to do and then uh, my area is flooded ubers it was a problem but like i got there eventually uh, my friends were already there um and helped me do some videos because i was going to actually work at the events not just attend 
So I was going to create content. I was meant to be, and this is like the first time I'm I've been invited to an event that I'm also working because I wasn't invited to other events, but just to attend. I did not have to share if as in, if if I shared it was my prerogative. Basically, for this one, I had been contracted to share. Um, about the event during the event and then also like post event so I'm I also need to work on the recap video and post that tomorrow That's part of the things they paid me for but anyways Minus the fact that I was actually paid or I am getting paid for it. It was a really good event My friends were even saying the same like the setup was so good the decor. I'm not sure how much I could show you guys I'm so sorry, but you can go to my Instagram. I'll leave the handle here um, To go see more from the event. I'm sure I've posted. No, I'm sure I've definitely posted the recap and everything um because i was because i was filming um on the go and posting on stories i just couldn't i was doing more of um portrait mode than landscape mode and i didn't go with my camera because i didn't want to carry a big bag and stuff and i knew um yeah i just didn't want to risk going with my camera so i couldn't um do that but anyways yeah it was a really good event um ended at about i think 11 30 i left it like maybe 11 15 just before it ended, I uh, went out, went to a couple more places with Abigail. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a good event. It was a good night out. And I slept until when I came on here earlier to start cleaning and doing like a bit of a mini Sunday reset. But yeah, I've cleaned my whole house. I feel so pristine. Clean my kitchen, clean my um, living room, clean my room. Everything feels smells so good and i am like i'm ready for the week it's very late right now um i should be asleep to be honest where's my phone i was filming my phone just now where did i is it anyways yeah i should be asleep because i also want to go to the gym tomorrow i think uh i think i mentioned to you guys my last vlog that i finally got a trainer but i've only done one session with him so we're meant to go all in this week so i want to start um it's monday already it's past midnight so i want to start today um and give it my all um i can't go very early i think mondays are not a great day to go early because there's always traffic there's always surge and uber so i'll probably just wait till about 9 a.m before i go to the gym and then yeah but anyways i just have to come on here and actually wrap up this video because I find that I tend to like cram up to many things in one video and then I now have to start sending out the chip stuff away. So I'm trying to find a balance and I think, um, yeah, this past weekend has been very eventful. So it's just going to be a couple days in my life. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, the weekend didn't start off on the best note for me, but right now um, I'm happy, I'm grateful um, and I can't wait to see what's um this coming week brings yeah for me and yeah i'll share with you guys as i go along but yeah um good events um i'm looking forward to doing more work with them hopefully after this particular um campaign hopefully i get to do more work with them we'll see how that goes but yeah also if you follow me on instagram um i'm sure you would have seen the initial video i did the get ready with me um that was not my initial plan like i, I think i mentioned to you guys that it was a very last minute thing but it did really well shout out to all my friends that helped me push we post on their stories and comments and all but it did and it's doing really well so yeah that's a good start so now this is the first time i'm working with this brand but yeah anyways just to come on here and wrap up the night i've had a really good sunday really relaxing really calming um yeah i burnt the candle i got from um to Livu. i quite like it but anyways yeah I can't wait to have my bar and get to play with this um, new... I have two shakers already, but what I'm the most excited about also to add to my collection is this. Because I have not had this 30ml, 60ml, sorry, 20ml, 30, sorry. I was correct, I think this is in MG, like in milligrams, but ML is different. Anyways, I've not had, I've never had this. I had like, I have a shaker, I have a stirrer, I have... A couple other things like for my mini bar that i'm going to make um and i've used them to make cocktails if you follow me on ig you, you'd have seen when i process some cocktails but now that i have like the full complete set guys we're going to be making cocktails on the regular so yeah and i'll probably yeah i think in the future i should make some on here because i do that more on my ig i think i should also try to do some just for youtube like infuse it in my 
vlogs and stuff and yeah i'll show you guys the kind of cocktails i enjoy making anyways yeah this is a long outro i apologize um hope you enjoyed this one i enjoyed making it for you guys and i will see you in my next video